Introduction Mom, I'm hungry. Can I eat the bread kept on the table? Yes, dear. You can eat the bread. Mom, these slices of bread have green spots on them. Oh, don't eat that bread, son. It is unhealthy. Why is this bread unhealthy? Oh, what are these green spots, Mom? These green spots represent the growth of a bread mold fungus. How do these fungi grow? These fungi grow and form colonies on the bread through different modes of reproduction. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define reproduction Understand the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction Identify different types of asexual reproduction Identify various events of sexual reproduction 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 is the biological process by which new offspring organisms are produced from their parents. There are two modes of reproduction. Asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. It is the mode of reproduction by which offspring arises from a single parent and offsprings are genetically identical. Such organisms whose genetic information is identical to that of a parent organism is called clone. Sexual reproduction It is the biological process by which organisms produce genetically different offsprings that have a combination of genetic material contributed from two usually different members of the species. Types of Asexual Reproduction Do you know how do organisms reproduce asexually? An organism may reproduce asexually by Binary fission, budding, vegetative propagation, spore formation, fragmentation, parthenogenesis. Binary fission In binary fission, a cell divides into two halves and each half rapidly grows into an adult. Many single-celled organisms reproduce asexually through binary fission. Example, amoeba, paramecium. The following diagram represents the division of a single cell into two by the process of binary fission. Budding in the process of budding, small buds are produced by the parent cell that remain attached initially to the parent cell and eventually get separated and mature into new organisms. Organisms that produced by budding include yeast, hydra. The following diagram shows the bud developing on parent hydra. Vegetative Propagation Vegetative reproduction is a type of asexual reproduction found in plants where new individuals are formed from existing plant structures called vegetative propagules. Such vegetative propagules include runner, rhizome, sucker, tuber, offset, bulb, etc. Germinating buds of potato, as shown in the diagram, possess the capability of giving rise to new offspring. Spore formation Many multicellular organisms form spores during their biological life cycle. These spores develop into new offspring under favorable conditions. Fragmentation Fragmentation is a form of asexual reproduction where a new organism grows from a fragment of the parent. Many organisms such as lichens, certain fungi and plants reproduce asexually through fragmentation. The following diagram represents the fragments of Spirogyra.
Parthenogenesis Parthenogenesis is a process in which an unfertilized egg develops into a new individual. It occurs in some insects, fishes, frogs and lizards. Example Parthenogenesis in whiptail lizard Sexual reproduction Sexual reproduction is the process of production of new living organisms by combining genetic information from two individuals of different types. The process of sexual reproduction involves the following three events. Pre-fertilization events, fertilization events, post-fertilization events. Pre-fertilization events. Pre-fertilization events are those that take place before the fusion of gametes and consist of Gametogenesis It is the process of formation of male and female haploid gametes. Such gametes may be Isogametes B. Heterogametes Gamete transfer After their formation, male and female gametes must be physically brought together to facilitate fusion. In a majority of organisms, male gamete is motile and the female gamete is stationary. In plants, gamete transfer occurs by the process of pollination. Fertilization The process of fusion of gametes to form zygote is called fertilization. Fertilization is of two types. External fertilization. Fusion occurs outside the body of an organism in an external medium. Internal fertilization. Fusion occurs inside the body of organism. Post-fertilization events. Post-fertilization events of sexual reproduction involve embryogenesis. It is the process of development of embryo from the zygote during which the zygote undergoes cell division, mitosis and cell differentiation as shown in the diagram. Did you know? Arabidopsis thaliana, a small flowering mustard plant, does not reproduce asexually. However, the use of Argonaut 9 Silences transposons in the ovule of Arabidopsis can make these sexual plants asexual, thus increasing the changes of large-scale vegetative propagation of these plants. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Reproduction is the biological process by which new offspring organisms are produced from their parents. Reproduction is of two types, asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction by which offspring arise from a single parent and offsprings are genetically identical. An organism may reproduce asexually by binary fission, budding, vegetative propagation, spore formation, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis. Sexual reproduction is a biological process by which organisms produce genetically different offsprings that have a combination of genetic material contributed from two usually different members of the species. Sexual reproduction involves pre-fertilization events or gametogenesis and gamete transfer, fertilization, and post-fertilization events, embryogenesis.